My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a simple and tasty recipe for ice cream sandwich cake. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need some ice cream sandwiches. I'm using the traditional ice cream sandwich, but if you prefer, you can use strawberry, you can use Neapolitan, whichever sandwich you'd prefer. You're also going to need some Cool Whip, some chocolate topping and caramel topping, and then you're also going to need whatever type of candy bars you prefer. I am using a mixture of Snicker, Snicker bars, Twix bars, and Reese's peanut butter cups. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off by preparing our ice cream sandwiches. One thing I wanted to share with you all, this is on the um, bottom of my cutting board, I have this little bottle gripper. You know, you use it to open up your bottles. In order to keep your cutting board from slipping all over the cabinet, if you put one of these down and then put your cutting board on top, that will help out a lot. But all I'm gonna do right now is just cut my um, ice cream sandwiches up and get them ready. Okay, so I've got my ice cream sandwiches unwrapped and ready to go. I've got a loaf pan here that I have lined with parchment paper. A little tip I like to share is to use clips um, on your pan to hold your parchment paper in place so that it's not sliding everywhere. So um, I'm probably gonna try to put about four ice cream sandwiches on the bottom. So I've got one in right here, another one right here, and depending on the size of your uh, pan, you may have to cut your ice cream sandwiches in half. I think I'm gonna be able to squeeze it right down there, just like that, and squeeze the other one in as well. And yes, your hands are gonna get messy. Okay, so I've got that in. And now you're just gonna put a layer of whipped topping down and then you're just gonna repeat those layers. Now, of course, you could do this in a larger pan. Like if you have a nine by 13, that's fine. Of course, you're just gonna need more topping and more sandwiches. It'll work in any size pan. Okay, so I just put the second layer of sandwiches on and I discovered that it's easier to put them in this way instead of this way. These ice cream sandwiches are a lot smaller um, than ones that I'm used to. So I'm just gonna put on that second layer of the whipped topping. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle on my candy. Okay, so now I am going to loosely cover this with plastic wrap and I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for at least a couple of hours and then I'll show you how I finish this cake off. Okay, so it's been about five hours and I lifted the cake out of the pan. It was so easy, just pulled it up by the parchment paper and then I just stuck a large spatula underneath there and then just put it on my serving platter. Now I am going to garnish this cake with some caramel. I warmed up just a little bit. If I had to guess, maybe three, a fourth of a cup of caramel in the microwave and I'm just going to drizzle it over the cake. And now I'm gonna take my magic shell topping. And if you have just regular hot fudge topping, that's fine too. But the magic shell, it, um, it hardens. So here is the ice cream sandwich cake. Again, so easy to make and it is sure to be a hit with your family and friends. Cut it open so you all can see what it looks like on the inside, and then here is a slice on the plate. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up, and if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.